Hello, boys and girls. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it is math time with Mrs. Itis. Today, we are going to talk about as many, more, and fewer. Now, as many means the same as. Because when we have as many of the same color or the same object, we have exactly the same. So let's talk about that. Let's review what we know so far. So I'm going to use my plate and my dots again. So do you remember when I put different amounts in each group and we talked about more, fewer, and the same? Let's go ahead and do that just as a nice quick review. So if I put three red dots on the left and I put two yellow dots on the right, which side shows me more? That's right. The left side with the red dots shows me more. Which side shows me fewer? That's right. The right side with the yellow dots show me fewer. Fewer. How many fewer? One, two, three. One, two. That's right, it's just one fewer. You're right. What if I took out one of the yellow dots and I have one, two, three on this side and now only one on the right side? How many fewer do I have now? That's right, I have two fewer. Now, what is this as many words that we're going to use? As many. Well, that means that if I put three red dots on the left and three yellow dots on the right, I have as many yellow dots as I have red dots. Let's make sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. I have as many yellow dots as I do red dots. That's the same, isn't it? So you can see, boys and girls, that saying as many is exactly the same as saying same as. All right, let's go ahead and look in our math workbook with the little fishy. Today we're going to turn and open our page to 2-4. I'll go ahead and give you a second to get ready. 2-4. All right, now you will notice that there are dots and a tens frame. Dots and a tens frame. We are going to use this tens frame as a graph. Can you say graph? Graph. And today we are going to count the dots. There will be either red or yellow. I'm going to teach you how to color those. And then we're going to match it in the picture of the tens frame to make a graph. Then we are going to compare what we see with our dots and our tens frame to show which is more, fewer, or as many. Remember, as many means the same. So I would like you to get your red and yellow crayons today with your red crayon, go ahead and write your name at the tippy top. It's okay, today we can use our crayons because we are going to make graphs and we are going to show data. Data means the information we get from looking at a picture of a graph. All right, friends, good job. Are you ready with your names? Don't forget, uppercase, lowercase letters. Good job, okay. Now, in these pictures of the dots, the dots that are gray, we're going to make them red. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my red on top of those gray dots. And then the white dots, I'm gonna color them yellow. So I had two red dots and now I have three yellow dots. Okay, now let's look at this tens frame, which is now going to be a graph. At the top, I have yellow dots. At the bottom, I'm going to have red dots. 
Now, I want to fill in my graph to match my picture of dots. So let's count how many yellow dots I have. One, two, three. Three yellow dots. That means I need to color one, two, three squares yellow. Three because three boxes match three dots. It's the same. There are as many yellow dots as there are squares. All right, next, let's count our red dots. One, two. So now I have to match the picture. So if I have two red dots, then I need to color two red squares. I have to match, I have to make as many squares as I have dots. I cannot color more and I cannot color fewer. All right, so let's take a look. I have one, two, three yellow dots. I have one, two red dots. So what can I say about yellow dots? That's right, I have more yellow dots. I have fewer red dots. I have one fewer of the red dots. I have one more of the yellow dots. So now, we're going to put check mark next to the row with more. And in this case, more is shown by yellow dots. So I'm gonna trace that check mark. Great job, boys and girls. Let's do number two. Let's use red to color the gray dots. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Four red dots, and now let's color the yellow dots. One, two, three. Excellent. So here's my picture graph. So yellow is on the top, red is on the bottom. Okay, how many boxes will I color to match my dot counters? One, two, three. One, two, three, that's ready. I have to put as many boxes as I have counters. So if I have three yellow dot counters, then I have to have three yellow squares. Let's count the red, the red dot counters. One, two, three, four. So I have to color in as many squares as I have counters. If I have four red dot counters, then I have to have four red boxes. Great job, friends. Okay, here's a question. Will I put a check mark near the yellow or the red if I want to show more, one more? That's right. Red shows me one more than yellow this time. Good job, friends. All right, let's try number three. Let's get our red ready. One two, three dot counters, and let's get yellow. One, two, three yellow dot counters. Oh my goodness, look at this. I have red on the top this time and yellow on the bottom, and now I have to color as many from my dot counters into my graph of my 10 frame. So if I have one, two, three red, I have to color one, two, three boxes in my graph. If I have one, two, three yellow, I have to color one, two, three boxes. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. What is this showing me? Did you see that it is the same as red and yellow are the same? And we can say it. Red have as many as yellow, and yellow have as many as red. Now, since they're both the same, I'm going to give them both a check. Check, check, because they are the same. Great job, friends. Let's try number four. So get your red. One, two, three. Four, five red counters, and one, two yellow. So 
So let's do our picture graph over here on the side with our tens frame. So if I have two yellow dots that are counters, then I only can color two yellow squares. Good job, you're getting really good at this now. If I have one, two, three, four, five red dot counters, then I have to color in five red squares to show as many. All right, there's our five. Okay, friends, this time I'm going to put a check mark next to the row with fewer. Okay, let's look at our data. I have two yellow graphed. I have five red graphed. Which one shows me fewer this time? Yes, yellow, show me fewer. Good job. Ready, let's do our last one at five. One red, two red, three red, four red dot counters. Let's do the yellows. One yellow, two yellow, three yellow, four yellow counters. <gasps> Boys and girls, I think I see something interesting about this graph already. What do you think it is? Did you say there are as many red counters as there are yellow? You are right. So four red counter dots with four red boxes. My graph has to match my picture. Four yellow counter dots. So four yellow boxes. And that means I have as many red as I have yellow. And since it's the same, I'm going to give both of these a check. Great job, friends. I love looking at pictures and graphing them and comparing as many more and fewer. Isn't it fun? Let's go ahead, turn the page. Now we're going to graph with real pictures, but our graph is now going vertically up and down. So when we do a graph that is vertical, we have to make our graph grow up. So that means we have to start coloring from the bottom. Let's just keep on using our red and yellow. So let's make kites red and let's make balloons yellow. Okay, so let's get our red. So let's color one kite, two kites, three kites, four kites, and five kites. Okay, so if I have one, two, three, four, five kites, how many boxes will I color in my graph? Five, that's right. Remember, start at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Five boxes because I have five kites. All right, let's get yellow for our balloons. Ready? One balloon, two balloons, three balloons. So how many boxes will I graph? Three, that's right, from the bottom. One, two, three. Wow, boys and girls. So here's my question for you. Are there more red or more yellow? That's right, there are more red. How many more red than yellow? Two, that's right. Okay, that means that are two fewer yellow than red. Excellent. Now let's take a look at flags and pinwheels. All right, I'm gonna make my flags red. So I have one, two, and three. Good job. So that means I will graph three boxes, starting at the bottom. One, two, three. Perfect. Let's take a look at pinwheels. I'm gonna use yellow for my pinwheels. So now I have one, two, 
three, four pinwheels. Now I'm going to graph them. So if I have four in my picture, how many am I going to add in my graph? Four, that's right. One, two, three, four. Wow, boys and girls. Now I can say that I have more pinwheels than flags. How many more pinwheels do I have than flags? That's right, I have one more pinwheel. What can I say about the flags? They are fewer, yes. One fewer flag than pinwheels. Great job, friends. All right, we're almost done. Let's take a look at school banners and balloons. So I'm gonna make my banner red. So I have one, two banners. So let's graph them. One, start at the bottom, and two. Excellent. I have one, two wiggly long balloons. So how many am I going to graph? Two, start at the bottom. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. What can I say about this graph now? Yes, I have as many balloons as I have banners. I have as many banners as I have balloons. That means they are the same. Okay, now we are going to circle the picture with fewer objects. Okay, so let's look at kites and balloons. Which one, look at your graph, which one is fewer, kites or balloons? Balloons, great job, circle the balloon. Which shows me fewer, flags or pinwheels? That's right, flags. Is there anything the fewer here with banners and balloons? No, they are the same, we can say there are as many banners as balloons. So let's circle the little fish because they are the same. Great job, friends. You are doing such a good job comparing numbers this week. We have one more lesson on comparing our numbers tomorrow, so I can't wait to see you. Thanks for coming to math time today. Bye-bye.